Okay, that real good light heavyweight fight is over now, and the quarry decision was not really uh, treated any differently than a unanimous decision should be. But now there's sort of a waiting feeling as Dwayne Bobby goes against young Sanford. Bobbick is unbeaten in 37, 32 knockouts. That's him on your left. Now let's go to the announcer now. Better known as Young Sanford. A good looking athlete at about 196 pounds. That's not much for a heavy, but he, he's a good puncher. Heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali from Bowler, Minnesota, Dwayne Bobbick. There he is from the Fighting Bobbicks. 11 brothers, one sister. I wonder how she gets along in that family up there. He is tough. He's 214 pounds. At least he was yesterday. That's the lowest he's been. He was 218 to 220 for Chuck Wepner. He's got 32 knockouts. Yes, he lost to Teofilio Stevenson in 72. Let's listen to it. Watch the butts. Watch the rabbit punches. In the event of a knockdown, go to the furthest corner, stay there, like tell you to come out. Okay? Shake hands, come out, box. All right, ten rounds. Both unbeaten. Charlie Roth from Cincinnati is your referee in the ring. Remember, three judges, the five-point system in Nevada. And we understand the three-knockdown rule has been waived for this. It's a 16-foot ring, too, Kenny. Go ahead, Ken. Sure, I use you for the knockdown rule to be waived in a fight such as this. Okay, what does young Sanford have to do? That right hand? He has to counter with the right hand over the jab. He has to beat Bobby to the punch. He can't let Bobby take the play away. Bobby is undefeated. Uh, so is young Sanford. Red Fox used to be his man, and now Red just watched him like everybody else. Good double hook. You say he can do it just about all that a boxer should do. He huh? can be very well equipped. The only thing now, I think he's a little bit excited. It's a real big fight for him. He's never been into a fight like this. And uh, once he gets the composure back, he'll be good. Remember, Bobbick's manager is Joe Frazier. And Smoking Joe is watching. He's back in New Jersey right now today, watching his protege, who he says can really hit. All right, push it off, And man. can push take it. it. All right. But sometimes he starts slowly. The feeling might be that young Sanford can hit him and hurt him early. Fred can. Fred's a very good puncher. He's a converted southpaw. He can throw a good jab off of a hook. He has a very good right hand once he gets it in there. And he's very intelligent. He See? wants to be a lawyer. Yeah, he went to Pepperdine University and graduated. graduated. Pretty good jab by Bobby. He is big, and he is strong, and he does work hard and can punch. Eddie Futch is in the corner with him. Along with... All right, push it off, push it off. All right. Benton, who's one of the real good... Middleweights of our time, I guess. Right, Georgie Benton has been Benton. trying to teach Bobby to move a little bit. Right, Benton was great. Bobby can take a punch. His last fight was against Chuck Wepner. He stopped Wepner in six rounds. That was the little brawl. The little <laughs> brawl. <laughs> Sanford is 26 years of age. 25 is the age they put on Dwayne Bobby. Remember, you're talking about a big weight differential here. 214 to 196. Sanford is at 196 on your right. He's lean, though. I think Eddie Punch is hoping that the weight factor will be a telling factor later on in the fight. Good left hand jab by Young Sanford. First round of 10. Bobbick is sort of a long distance runner. He can take a lot of punches and just sort of wear you down. That is the thought. And a lot of people think that young Sanford might catch him before that is to take place. I think that's still slick spanking. Still feeling each other out. The crowd's sort of waiting now. Two big men in the ring. And you're watching it live. Okay, back for round two, live from Las Vegas in the, this beautiful art center, this theater here at the Aladdin Hotel. You're looking at young Sanford. Uh, they 
and he met Bobby in the uh, amateurs a couple of times. One time he lost the national AAU finals to Bobby. Dwayne Bobby. Yeah, so he knows him and might not like him too much because of something that maybe happened about eight years ago. He's a very competitive man, very competitive. Bill Slate, very active ring-wise guy in the corner for Young Sanford. Fred never changes expression. Never. And Bobby is big. If you were picking him for a football team, he'd be your middle linebacker or perhaps a tight end. He is big, but movement has been his problem. Not power or not punch. Right, Kenny? Right, he hasn't really learned how to slip punches yet. He counters well. He takes a punch and counters back well, but he hasn't learned how to slip. Once he starts fighting the, uh, the guys who are ranked a little higher in the ranks there, he's going to have to learn how to slip punches and counter. That's exactly what Eddie Futch uh, said today, that they're trying to get him to slip punches, not take all of them, and hook. And you got to move to be a good hooker, I suppose, right? Very true. You got to know how to slip to one side and hook back. Round two, sort of a tentative round for each fighter. They just sort of threw a pretty good body punch by Dwayne Bobby. The right hand missed. So did Young Sanford's coming back, but boy, he throws it quickly, and he's got a good slippery right hand over the top. And that's what Stevenson hit Dwayne Bobbick with a few years ago. But at that time, Bobby was an amateur. The big difference is he before he was an amateur and pro. And just remember, that's a 16-foot ring. There's nowhere to go. It's as small as it can be, a regulation is 16 feet. So Young Sanford is going to have to find a way to cope with a larger man. We're talking about about 20 pounds. Big difference. All right, push off, push off. All right, let's go. You hear Charlie Roth say push off, push off. Again, the heavyweights, uh, not you, Kenny, and not Muhammad Ali. You guys were pretty busy, but heavyweights have a tendency sometimes to lay on each other a little bit. The right hand land? It was a good right hand. It didn't land flush, but it was enough to know he's getting his range now. Now, you've worked with uh, young Sanford, Ken. Did he, did he ever burn the bottom of your feet with a good right hand that we talked about? Fred, that was a very good stiff right hand. See, I think, see, Bobby is learning how to go under the right hand a little bit better now. Over in Young Sanford's corner, Bobby is trapped in there. Now tries to come out with the left hand. Sanford doing a pretty good job. Half holding, half hitting, which might not be a bad way to fight this big guy. Both fighters can punch well, and they're both taking a lot of good shots. They're both delivering a lot of good shots. Dwayne Bobbick is a big, tough guy for Minnesota, and he came with Joe Frazier after Billy Daniels in Denver sold his contract, and Joe said, push off, Tom, he'll work hard, he can take a punch, and he wants to be a great fighter, and I can teach him. Second round of 10 with young Sanford. You can't teach a man to take a punch, though. <laughs> Either does or he doesn't. Good combination by Sanford. All of them very good punches right on the button. Routed into the ropes by Bobby, but Sanford scored here in round two. Hey, Kenny, tell me what we see, my friend. I think Fred right now is doing the same for a right hand. Here we go. That's probably blocked, blocked it well. Huh? And the second one went over the shoulder. But some of those can hurt if you're the heavyweight. If you're a heavyweight, right? If you hit somebody in a collarbone, doesn't it hurt? Now, what's, it he got, what's he got all over his face? Is that some kind of a grease? I think it's Vaseline. Looks like a Halloween <laughs> mask. Here he comes. Young Sanford against Dwayne Bobbick. Sanford moving a little bit now. Like he might try to stay away from the big man. And Bobbick goes right to work to the body. Bobbick's going to have to buy the pressure for the keep it off dollar. Eddie Futch. And Georgie Benton must have said, hey, big man, you better get out there and take care of this guy and slow him down a little bit. Now, you made a good comment. You said that when Sanford is under attack, he can punch when you're putting the punches on him. That's important, isn't it? Very important. Very important. Pretty good right hand. But the man's attacking you bring up his combination to help a lot. Good hook. Good hook by Sanford. Remember, he's a converted southpaw, so if he hits you with that left arm, left hand, it might be a pretty good hook. Now, being a converted southpaw it has a lot of power to it. I don't know if Bobby's aware of that yet or not. I think young Sanford's getting his attention right now. Bobby, unbeaten in 37. Being backed off by young Sanford. Bobby came out to take charge in this round, and suddenly I found that young Sanford is carrying the fight. 
As I said before, Tom, we might be in for a big upset here. Ben Sanford is 26. We told you, he's 6'2 and a half, and he's only 196 pounds, but he's a mover. He just scored with that jab. Down below the deck, right hand across the top, and a hook by Sanford. Over the jab, right? That's what you call for, Kenny Norton. There's a right hand right over. Let's listen to what's happening in that ring right now. And here's Charlie Roth, the, the referee. Charlie Roth is just staying out of danger's way, I think. Now, Bobby has Sanford in his own corner, near his own corner, but not really scoring a lot. He's trying to go to the body. Bobby's got to throw more than one punch. He has to throw the combination. He has to throw them in, in fast and fast. The left eye of Dwayne Bobbix is a little bit closed right now. The left eye of Dwayne Bobbix is puffy and closing just a little bit. Good jab. Up under by Sanford. We're going to take a look at the corner of Dwayne Bobbix. All right, push up. Push round up, three. Body punch by Stanford. By Stanford. Stand up on your hook, baby. Bobby. Sanford snapped back with that jab. And young Sanford is scoring as we finish round three. Boy, is he active. Okay, Kenny, we're going to go into the corner. What do you see in there? This is a bit of a small pup. Well, there he is, Kenny. He's a big one. 200 and, and at least 14 or 15 pounds. They are keeping us from seeing the work that on his eye. And there is his opponent, Young Sanford, who really has carried at least the last two rounds of the three-week game. Yeah, he has. In order to get ahead, Bobby's got to get closer to Fred and keep him on, on the inside and uh, get the sharp punches going. He looked like he flicked at that left eye a little bit. Bobby did as he came out. Now he goes right to work like he tried to do in round three. Bobbick, though, is a stretch runner. Don't forget that he'll get into the groove and he can go 10 rounds, and he prepares to do that. Ooh, good right hand by Bobbick. The first one we've seen. Kenny, how did you fight Dwayne Bobbick? Well, I would have to say that Bobbick and I were fighting, I would try to beat him to the punch, apply a lot of pressure, and throw a lot of overhand right. Early? Early. Is that the wild overhand right that you're now famous? Hold it, hold it. Who said it was wild? Who said it was wild? I worked on that thing for two months. Good right hand by Dwayne Bobbitt. And Sanford might have lost a little of that impetus from the last round. All right, step it up, step it up. Bobbitt looks like uh, somebody built a fire. And Fred's going to throw a right hand over the jab momentarily. We watch. You're alive. I don't have to tell you that. You can hear it. The town has turned off for about two hours here on CBS to watch two good fights right here in the Aladdin Hotel. Why would uh, young Sanford now back off? Good left-right combination by Bobby. Why would Sanford not want to go out and, and take this round? Can he? I don't know, but I, I feel that later on in the round he's going to come on. This is a right hand. Young Sanford not quite as accurate as he was for the first three rounds, though. And Bobbick looks to me like he's turned into what he should be, sort of a big brawler, to go out and take your best and shove you around. Push back, push back, step up. He definitely has the weight advantage, and he should try to take advantage of it. But he's afraid to carry around that much extra weight for what, 10 rounds down the bottom. Pretty good right hand by Sanford. And hook. And hook off of it, right, Kenny Norton. Round four, and the action's beginning to pick up. Don't you feel like it's warming, huh? Two heavyweights, and Bobbick now has young Sanford in his own corner. This is round four. The crowd beginning to get it up. Sanford hits with that left. Two good jabs. He missed with that right hand. Bobby misses with his right. A little slow with the right hand that time. Get off, get off, get off, get off. 
Fritz going down one, but he seems to like uh, the man is in perfect shape. I've seen him train. And he's letting Bobby take the play away from him right now. He has to you know, counter everything, which he's good at. Could he be gliding? Could he be doing this on purpose, young Sam? Could he be taking it easy on purpose? I don't know. It might be a mental factor. You know, he's first time to you know, fight someone this hard, this long. Okay, we're winding down round four, and Bobby is going to work down where it hurts. Down in the engine room. We'll be back with more action from the Aladdin Hotel after this word from your local station. Live from Las Vegas, right here on CBS, a heavyweight. And that's one right there, Dwayne Bobby. Having a little bit of a problem with young Sanford. Right, and we Kenny do Norton, you said so. Now, what about this? What the, there's Slayton, your man, talking to him. He's got to go out and take this fight back, doesn't right, he? He's got to initiate the action here. Bobbick's heavier, and, he, and he, you have to stop the man when he's heavy. Like, you have to throw a lot of punches. You have to move from side to side. You have to counter punch a lot, because Bobbick is heavier, as I said before, and he's going to try to apply the pressure and take the action to Fred. And Bobby. If he can't take the play with him, Fred, then uh, he's winning the fight. Bobby's been fighting all his life. Eleven brothers. Rodney is about 20 pounds heavier than Dwayne. He's the fourth-rated heavyweight contender right now. Good right hand. I couldn't tell if that landed, Kenny. What about it? I couldn't tell if that well out of the time. Randy Newman, Middleton, Scott Legault, and Bunny Johnson. Before Chuck Wepner, those are the last five fights for Dwayne Bobby. Takes a pretty good short hook there by Young Sanford. Bobby certainly put his weight behind his punches now when he gets spread on the rope. Fred has to find some way to counter that he has to either move to the side or spin the man out. Bobby looks like he jogs once in a while to sort of get the arm weariness perhaps out of those big arms. And boy, he is big, but they get heavy, don't they? He's a big man. Damn. Joe Frazier took over his management in January of 75, and it's been nothing but hard work. That was a good right hand by Bobby Fair. Good straight shot. Georgie Fenton and Eddie Futch, and Joe himself gets in once in a while to ring Bobby's bell to see if he's <laughs> right for it. <laughs> and Joe has been known to ring a few bells. Young Sanford again trapped by the... Over near Bobby's corner now, and misses with that big right hand. Pretty good left hand by Bobby. Young Sanford not doing much throwing. He has to initiate some action here. Good jab there by Sanford. We're still watching the eyes of both fighters. Sanford's left eye was a little bit swollen. And the left eye of Bobby, we thought, was swollen in the second round, but neither, neither fighter appears to be bothered by it. That's, if you notice, Young Sanford's jab now is floating on it instead of snapping. If you snap it, it would be more effective. All his punches now are starting to float more. Now, you worked with young Sanford right before the Ali fight, right, Kenny? That's very true. We worked too much together. Is he in good shape? Is he ready for the guy the size of Bobby? I thought that Fred's in very good shape, but I think the thing now is most of the middle. You saw Bob, Bobby fight Wepner, and he got his confidence up. I think that uh, after getting in the ring with Bobby and fully through the punches, it might have dwindled a little bit, but he has to regain it. But I saw Bobby have trouble with Bunny Johnson, too. A small, heavy, good left-right combination by Sanford. Bobby didn't appear to be severely hurt, but he certainly was taken back and wasn't punchy fair for a moment. Sanford on your left, Dwayne Bobby on your right. End of round five. Round six, Bobby against Young Sanford. You think it'll go 10? What do you think, Kenny? I think it might go 10, I, but Bobby's, uh, I mean, pardon me, Young Sanford's getting a big knot over his left eye, and I have it no. Might impart his vision quite a bit. He's waiting too long to let Bobby initiate the action. Bobby to took over sort of that fourth and fifth rounds just by body punching, and it looked like that young Sanford sort of pulled off the, uh, the attack for a while. Right, he's waiting too long. They're in young Sanford's corner. Ooh, and body punch, that right hand by Bobby. That's got to hurt. It does hurt. See, Fred's letting Bobby initiate the action. Fred's punches are starting to float out more now, and Bobby's punches are getting crisp. You know, as you said before, he's going over to the time. He's wearing the man down with, with his extra weight, and he's uh, really relying on his power. Remember, Kenny Norton said it early. He's susceptible to a good sneak right hand, but Sanford doesn't look like he's as quick with that right hand as he was in the first two rounds. Good jab. 
Flat-footed stance, moving right in. Bobby gets the big one. Young Sanford's pretty flat-footed too, and they're mixing it up. It's not usual. He's not. He's not. He's, he's lost his balance. He had a lot of balance at the first part of the fight. The left eye of Young Sanford partially closed. Good jab though by Sanford. Bruising stuff. Most of the yelling coming from people in the corners as we watch two heavyweights, each carrying bombs, but neither one really doing that kind of a job on the other. They're not doing uh, what you call it. are devastating punches. Those small punches are sharp when they hurt. And that's what we see Dwayne Bobbitt do so well. Just keep punching, plotting, banging right. until the other guy finally sort of everything quits on him. That's right. He's placing the punches right in the right spot, right around the heart, under the liver. There's the hook in the right hand coming out of it. Double hook, a little bit slower. I believe Sanford got away from that last punch. He missed the right hand. Fred, if he wants to stay in the fight, he has to initiate the action. He has to go forward more. He's got to beat Bob to the punch and take the play away. Sanford sort of jogged his legs to make sure they were still there. I had the double hook by Bobby, who looks to me like he, he's beginning to get the rhythm of the thing. That's been the difference in the last three rounds. He's getting the rhythm, he's picking up the pace. Fred is starting to throw his punches more. He's not really initiating anything. But the big man can sort of lay on you, take your best stuff, and then when you lose the steam in your punches, you're in trouble with the big guy, huh? That's been you know, the pattern of this fight. Big hook by Bobby. Goes underneath, mostly blocked. There's young Sanford. Again, that left eye if we get a chance. All no, no, it's definitely causing problems for Fred. It's bothering him. End of round six coming up. And it's getting brutal in there now. Left right by young Sanford at the bell here. And don't forget the NFL football action tomorrow on CBS where it's been from the inception, right? And the big game, uh, uh, Patrick Summerall and I will be down in Washington for the Cowboys against the Redskins. Uh, there may be a few 10-round bouts in that game. Speaking of action, right? There's that left eye. Now, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it seems to be closing on Finn. It's going to really impart his vision. I think that being a young fighter is going to bother Finn's... Uh... Oh, thank you. Bob it comes right across. And it's young Sanford, even as he was coming off the stool. I don't think Slayton even had him cleared from the stool yet. Bobby is all over young Sanford. Very wants Finn to fight. He has to fight back now. He has to, he has to uh, mount an offer. Bobbick is 25, and he is a big bull. And he's taking some good punches now. And he's also delivering some. Good punch by Sanford there. Back the bigger man off. Wayne Bobbick said, I am prepared to go 10, and I'm going to give it. I know I'm going to take some big ones. Sanford's left eye, remember, is closing. And Bobbick caught it almost on the stool in his corner to start this round seven. That was a surprise attack. Send them out early. Young Stabber's starting to wake too much. His punches are really floating now. They're getting worse. I think it's a mental thing more or less than physical. Shouldn't Charlie Roth, the ref, be parting them once in a while? Is he letting them hang on a little bit too much, Kenny? What do you think? I think so. But then again, it's kind of hard to, you know, you can't second guess the referee any time. Okay. <laughs> You're right, you still have to get in there and have them work some of your fights. All right, Dwayne Bobbick now, in round seven, has been the aggressor. And yet Sanford has landed some pretty good punches. Countering. He's landed right. some very good punches, but he's not initiating anything. Bobby's definitely taking the play away, and he's, his round's going, he's, his confidence is getting bigger and bigger. And Fred's confidence is getting dwindling there. There's Bobbick, right where this round started. Young Sanford's corner. And it seems like he gets, uh, it's like a, a red flag in front of a bull when he gets him over in his own corner. That's the best action for Dwayne Bobby. Well, that left eye is really swollen on young Sanford. I don't know if he can even see out of that. And that right hand's gonna come from. I think he can see, but he can't see anything wide. Anything straight ahead he can see. Have you ever been like that, Kenny? Have you ever had something closed up to where you had to do no, something been, else? No, I haven't. I've been very fortunate right, throughout my back career. Back. Step back. I thought maybe one of your movies or something. Maybe <laughs> in Drum or Mandingo, somebody hit you by accident. Here we are in round seven. There you see it. 
Boy, the eye is quickly closing on Young Sanford. Round seven, and Bobbick's had a good round. And the eye is starting to bother Fred. It's a mental thing with him. He's starting to touch it during the round. Big body punches by Dwayne Bobbick. Each fighter is unbeaten, and that's going to change this afternoon here in Las Vegas. Young Sanford's left eye got a lot of attention, and Bobby came out and caught him, and maybe got hit a pretty good punch by Sanford coming off the stool again. A fairly good punch, but as I said before, Fred's punch now are floating. By floating, I mean they're just you know, barely going out. Early in the fight, Fred's punches were very crisp, they were very sharp. He's going over, over the right hand. Oh, Bobby gets a tremendous body punch, and we said earlier, he's a very patient guy. He'll just keep beating on you until something stops working. Bobby, 37 and all. Big and raw bone out of Minnesota, living in Philadelphia. I'm working out with Joe Frazier's gang about five or six days a week and hard at it. You got to work to be a good fighter, right? It's very true. Nothing comes easy. Good left hook by Bobby. Takes an uppercut with the right hand. And young Sanford there in Sanford's corner again. That's where Bobby wants to keep him. Bobby can keep it on the ropes, he can apply a lot of pressure, then he's, all his punches are landing. He's, he's punching things very well. Right hand, right on top of that bad eye. A young Sanford that time. Bobby gets another one there, another one there. The right hand, and now it looks like Sanford's trying to cover up that swollen eye. He's very conscious of it. I think it's bothering him more mentally. He can't see out of it because it's almost shut completely. Big man, 196 pound on your left and a 215 pounder on your right. And they're in there to get the other one out the best way possible. Each unbeaten. Each with a good knockout punch. There's Bobby trying to work out. Ooh, pretty good hook coming out. Bobby looks like he's beginning to get a little stronger. Throughout the fight, he's been getting stronger. Every round he is, he's picked up the action more and he's doing more. Hook was blocked. Boy, both corners are really jammering now. All right, all right, you're holding on. Hold on, step back. Bill Slayton Jelly from one side, and Eddie Punch from the other. They want their fighter to stay unbeat. A lot of money in the heavyweight ranks. As Kitty Norton will attest to. The money is good, but the work is hard. And it's well earned. Oh, you better believe it. Good, good jab by Bobby. 30 seconds left in round eight. Oh, the right good hand. Right hand. Back in Sanford's corner. Fred did not even see the right hand with that eye like that. Most of those were blocked by Bobby. All right, man. Step it up. Step it up. Round eight. Wayne Bobby begin to put the pressure on young Sanford now. Don't go away, because we're going to stay right here in Las Vegas. Uh, okay, back at it in round nine. And Bobby did the same thing he's done for the last three rounds. Go right over and pin Young Sanford in his own corner and go to work on the body and anywhere else he can find. Fred has to become more aware. He just got up, up and stood in very lack of instinct. And Bobby was right there when he raised up. He's got to be aware of where he is and what he's doing. Bobby has 32 KOs. But early in the career, some of those are probably not the caliber of the man he's facing right now. Young Sanford's a good heavyweight. He's a very good heavyweight, but then again, Bob is coming on very well also. He's proving himself. What does the winner have to look forward to? A fight with Kenny Norton or somebody later, or what? Well, I tell you, there is something in, in, in if Bobby wins, there might be something coming on later for Bobby and myself. Notice how I slipped that in there? <laughs> you can't trust television people. Here we are in round number nine. Bobby backing in, but still pretty much in control. A left hook by Bobby. A short left hook. But he is big. Oh, he hit him on that left eye again. I'll tell you, young Sanford can't even see out of that left eye. Bill Slayton, to the right of your picture there, is yelling for Sanford to keep moving and punching it. Just not much left there right now. It's not much left, but the safest place is on the inside. He certainly can't see well, so he should try to get on the inside and throw the sharp punch where he knows the other man's body is. 
Your best offense is a good defense. Or your best defense is a good offense. Right? Good jab by Young Sanford. Two good jabs by Young Sanford. Bobby measuring him again over the neutral corner. Remember, just walking around for 10 rounds with your hands up in the air for three minutes per is tough. You could be out there fighting and having somebody beating on you. It's darn near impossible. Bobby working right above us. This is live from Las Vegas. We're in a theater, a beautiful new theater at the Latin Hotel, and that's Dwayne Bobby after Young Sanford. Fred has to initiate something. He's waiting just too long. He's getting caught waiting. Young Sanford came out early in the first couple of rounds and put that right hand over. And he hit Bobby. And he hurt him a couple of times. And Bobby just kept coming right on in. And banging. And then through the mid rounds began to come over and get Young Sanford in his own corner and do the job right where he is now. And backed him out of there. Right hand by Bobby. Oh, a body shot. Body Very well played. Young Sanford wobbled a little bit on that exchange. Right back in the corner, and there's Bobby back to work. He'll take one to deliver a couple. Round nine. Looks like we're going to go into the tent. All right, round number 10, the final round, the deciding round, and Dwayne Bobbix this time did not trap Young Sanford in his corner, and Sanford came out. That's possible because of the fact that they had to touch the gloves in the middle of the ring. Okay, that's right, Kenny. Don't forget you stationed along the CBS network. We may run over three or four minutes just to get to the station, and as quickly as possible, we'll cut right to you. Bobbix on your right. Sanford just missed with the right hand. I'm Brookshire and Kenny Norton. This is live from Las Vegas. And this has been a fight, Tom. Oh, it has been a brutal fight. It's been one of those fights that hurt you every time. That somebody lands something because it's sort of that unseen heavy punch. Great punch. Come on, a good uppercut and a good hook. Young Sanford, boy, he must really do a job. Two good punches in a row by Young Sanford. Bobby backed off. Good hook. A lot of time left in round 10, and Bobbick backs off again. The right hand misses. Bobbick with two punches underneath, and then a right hand across the top. Bobbick unbeaten in 37. Right now, the Fred's only throwing one punch, and Bobbick's throwing two and three. Young Sanders unbeaten in 12. Both heavyweights and both tired. Slayton is almost into the ring, helping his man, talking to young Sanford. And he punches jumping around it. And the two fighters have to decide it. Oh, both exchange hooks. Good ones. Underneath working with Bobby. These men are really working today, Tom. Boy, young Sanford came out and really made this fifth round sing. There's Red Fox watching his man. Young Sanford has really come on. Where was he for the four or five middle rounds? Bobby. Back over in Sanford's corner. It's been a bad spot all night for Young Sanford in his own corner. Round number 10. Round number 10. The crowd beginning to get really up on their feet. A lot of action here in this Aladdin Theater. Bobbick working on Young Sanford. You can count it down. People are up on their feet yelling for Young Sanford. He's really made a fight of it in the 10th round. Exciting 10th round. Two undefeated heavyweights. Bobbick in there punching. Young Sanford giving it everything with his left eye closed. It has been closed. It's about the 6th round. Grueling 10 round fight. Young Sanford bouncing up. Dwayne Bobby goes over to talk to him. Boy, oh boy. Talk about your money's worth. As soon as we get this decision, and it might be closer than you might think, we'll turn it right over to you. You can go to your regular programming. Dwayne Bobby.
the big guy from Minnesota working for Joe Frazier, and Eddie Fletcher, the man working on him right now. Did he win his 38th straight fight? Here's some of the action from the 10th, and Kenny Norton take it. This was a good round. That's right. Fred was definitely trying to initiate something here, but Bobby could take too much out of him physically. And Dwayne's confidence was sky high. It was at a peak at this point, and you could not do anything to hurt the man. Should young Sanford have come out earlier, could he, could he have done this in, let's say, the seventh or eighth, or was there some reason for his not coming out like this? I don't know. My coming is we have a unanimous it. decision. Judge Art Lurie scores 47-45. Judge Harold Buck scores 47-45. Judge John Magrassini scores 46-44. Winner by unanimous decision, Dwayne Bobbitt. Kenny Norton, it's the time for a guy saying so long from Las Vegas, Nevada. The CBS Sports Spectacular is a presentation of CBS Sports.